guy out now enlisted a lot of game things on my Texas Retro Gamer Society page. Uh, tub full of random things, mostly systems. There was a Pokemon Silver and a couple Super Mario Worlds. I uh, got him to come out to where I live so I didn't have to drive all the way out to Allen. I'm going to meet him right now. Here it is, this NES, not yellowed, NES, completely yellowed, I don't know that I've seen one that yellowed, Game Boy, High Definition Graphics Genesis, I'll go through it all a little better later. Here's that stuff that was in that tote that I got. The Genesis controller has electrical tape on it, I didn't see it earlier, but I don't see anywhere where there's a problem, so... I don't really know why that was on there. Maybe. Oh, I know, because it's not doesn't have the little tip there. I'm gonna probably harvest that from a controller have that's not working. The NES, very yellowed. When I get them like this, assuming it works, I sell it online and set it in the store. I don't like to have things in that condition in my store. Just think it looks bad. It's fine online because you're describing everything and stuff moves so fast people are looking for good deals so this Super Nintendo system is what really drew me to this a lot I'm always looking for Super Nintendos that aren't yellowed and they're hard to find so that was a good score for me it also has all the cables what I do is I split everything up I sell each thing individually and what I can get for this controller pays for a power supply two more controllers and the AV cable to use on here so then I can sell these two and make quite a bit more profit off of the system. Of course Pokemon, the Super Game Boy, it's a copy of Super Mario World. This one, this kind of bums me out. When I got it, I saw both of them and I was like, that's weird, I wonder why they did that. And I kind of remember seeing different top labels for Super Mario World, so I didn't think too of it, too much of it. But looking at it, there's this crease right here. And just the quality of it, and you can tell the image is different, the font's different. I'm pretty sure it's at a minimum a replacement label. It may actually be a repro, which seems, Super Mario World seems like an odd thing to repro, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at it, open it up and see what's going on in here. <laughs> So this does look legit, you can see Nintendo actually got the original battery in it. So luckily it's just a reproduction label, which doesn't diminish the value too much. It's not that expensive of a game anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Need to be more careful for stuff like that though. So far I've not bought anything that was a reproduction that had a lot of value to it. I've caught a couple things uh, in deals, but killed the deal because I didn't trust it after that. So anyways, got all this for 60 Guy brought it to me from about 40 minutes away, so I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. 